Snakes have been around, according to science, about 100 million years. It's a long time. And through the course of that time, you can see here, these fangs have developed. And within those fangs, the ability to secrete a highly sophisticated venom. We have to agree, this is highly sophisticated for a snake to be able to grab a prey and kill it within seconds, or even a human, for that matter. So, 100 million years to develop that is quite impressive. However, plants have been around for 700 million years. They are much, much more sophisticated than the venom of a snake. In fact, they're so sophisticated that some of the most well-studied plants, such as wheat or corn, have been found to have over 5,000 chemical constituents, ranging from, I just wrote a few of them, minerals, amino acids, essential oils, alkaloids, bioflavonoids. And those are plants that are considered hybridized. What about the plants that are growing wild in the forest? At one time when we roamed the earth, or even when we lived closer to the earth, we ate these plants. Now we eat food at a grocery store, which means our number of chemical constituents that we take in has greatly reduced. This is powerful phytochemistry. We are not stimulating our immune system as our ancestors once have. Could this be part of the reason why cancer is increasing? Who knows? But it is something to look at. By the way, does anybody know what this plant is? Oh, wow. See, now, how many of us would have known that 100 years ago because echinacea has gained such popularity with studies? Because this plant has shown to do so many impressive things, and one of them, is, its original name is called snake bite. The Native Americans called it snake bite because it actually had the ability to ameliorate the venom of that snake you just saw.